Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris, man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. At this point in time, as I'm doing this video, I'm not quite sure what I want to entitle it, but it's going to most likely be, okay, here we go again with the theory heads. And the reason why I say that is uh, whenever I, I do videos and I talk about theory and how it's overrated and it is overrated, I'm not knocking it. I'm not saying that you don't, you should not know it. What I'm saying is the focus should be on bigger things than people want to sit around and debate with you. Because I've been dealing with this for like 30 years. The majority of the people that want to throw the theory thing at me is a part of a musical snob community that want to sit around and debate and be condescending to you regarding uh, theory and all that. I could care less about that. And what I find interesting is whenever people that want to send me comments like that, because this is what sparked this video. I just received one of those comments again. You shouldn't be trashing theory. I'm not trashing theory. I'm saying it's overrated. <clears throat> and the people that want to argue me differently, I click on their channel and they got a troll account. You know, it's like I'm expecting to go on your channel and see all these wonderful covers you did that you did based around theory. I've done over 4,000 plus videos on both channels divided up, and I've never had to apply theory to learn songs. There's an easier way. It's not a shortcut, and it just shows that you don't need to know all this technical stuff to play. Because the bottom line is about playing. The technical theory thing is supposed to get you on the road to physically playing. But you got some people that think that theory is more important than the playing. Because they can't play that well. And they know theory because they've studied it. But uh, they don't know how to play that well. So they want to fall back on this, throwing this at you. And again, every time someone leaves me a comment regarding this, it becomes a debate. I'm like, I'm not here to debate nobody. I'm here to play. I'm here to teach you guys chorus to play songs. I'm not here to sit about, sit around and talk about the techno aspect and give you a two-hour uh, 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 chart or uh, you know, uh, chart board uh, presentation. <laughs> there's places for you to go if that's what you want to do but I do these videos to educate the young folks <coughs> where you know they won't be confused as far as man if I don't learn this I can't play that's not true you can play you know and again uh, I always find it real interesting when the people that want to send me these comments they got nothing on their channel to show me wrong to say hey see that's why you do need to know how to do this stuff you know because uh People do not go to your concerts and pay their hard-earned money to see you sit up there and talk about theory. They come for you to play. That's all they care about. They don't, they're not concerned about this other secondary stuff. But you got, again, this musical snob community that wants to debate you every time you mention things that you don't supposed to mention because I'm bucking the tradition. And it's like, well, if there's something that, that can be improved, why not improve it? Instead of, oh, well, we've always did it this way. You just got to do it this way. You know, it's just ridiculous. Life is about growth and, and, and expansion. It's not about falling back on something that works, but there's something that you can put in place that works even better. You know, because all my life I've asked questions. You know, and it's like, uh, I'm not trying to tear this down. I'm just trying to get an understanding of this. And if there's an easier, better way, and not by means of taking shortcuts, I'm open to that better way, you know. There's some people that did a good job with their plan because they, they really relied on theory. But, you know, that's not everybody. You know, again, it's it's really important for me just to kind of ex express that to young folks because when you get older, you set in your ways and you ain't trying to change who you are because you can. You are who you are, you know. But I'm trying to appeal to the young folks to say, hey, Look at all my stuff. Look at my videos. I'm playing everything and anything. I'm playing several different instruments, you know, so apparently what I'm doing is working. You know, uh, I've been quite successful in, you know, selling my DVDs. And not a lot, you know, just a few. And, you know, this is not about me trying to make money, but it has benefited the people that have purchased it because I, for about a year, people kept asking me, please put something together for us because you can play. How did you learn how to play? And just show us how you got there. You know, and after about a year, I put something together, and my main concern was trying to make it coherent to people that don't know how to play. Because that's, was, to me, one of the biggest issues I had when I was growing up. You know, I would get these manuals to build things, and the manual was written in a way that I supposedly already know how to do this. And that's kind of how music uh, books were in theory were, too. 
And I'm like, I don't know this stuff, so I need to be taught like I don't know. And still are trying to teach me as if I've already know this stuff. And that's what I did when I put together my DVDs one through seven. You know, I break it down. I give you what you need to learn how to play guitar. I don't give you nothing that you never use because that was another one of my big issues with music teachers. They taught me all this stuff on my money and my time that I would never, ever use, never, ever apply. You know, I remember when I first started taking music lessons and uh, my assignment was building chords. I'm like, why do I need to know how to build chords? There's thousands of chords already that you could just show me that are in these songs I want to play. Now, if I'm one of them people where I'm going to be a giant Williams and I'm writing musical scores, absolutely. I definitely need to know all that stuff. But the average guy just want to play in the band or just play. You know, that's it. You know, we're not sitting here all conducting a hundred piece orchestra, a hundred piece orchestra. Now, if, if that's the case, yeah, give me all that stuff I need it. But, you know, I'm, I just like to try to be practical where I'm going to give you what you need and not stuff that you never use and, and don't want to play. You know, because initially when you learn how to play music, they say, we got to start you off with Mary Head and Lil' Lamb and all that kind of stuff. When the Saints go marching in, Tom Dooley. These are sons I never ever play again. So why are you teaching me this? And that whole uh, easy book scam nonsense. Just teach me right off the top what I need to know how to play to play the stuff off the radio. Don't give me no watered down baby stuff that uh, I would never be able to apply. Because the problem with the easy song books is they're in a different key of the song. So therefore you can't play along with the song to get better playing. So now you're on your own already. As opposed to. Teach me the sharps and flats right now so I can play this stuff off the radio. And the more I play that stuff, the better I become. You pull any musician that's over 50 years old to the side and ask them, how did they learn? I went upstairs, took my ass up there, and I practiced. I closed the door, I put the record on, and I just kept playing and kept playing and kept playing, 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 kept playing and kept playing. Hello. That's how you do it. You know, and nothing changes doing it the right way because you would definitely benefit from doing it that way you get much better your ear starts to get really good because i mean my ear now is better than it was 10 years from now and if i'm still around in 10 years from now it'd be better than it is now you know it's just you you keep playing and your ear just develops you start to hear these notes you hear these chord changes because i mean one uh, chord that i start to really pick up quickly by ear because i could hear it was the success the success Sus fourth dissolve into the major. So it's like if it's A, it's A to sus four going into A major. I can hear that. I can hear that those two chords that's because they 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 they, they kind of work together. But I'm gonna sign off now. Uh, again, you know, uh this whole theory thing is overrated. The majority of people that want to debate me about it don't have no videos up on their channel to show me that you know this is a better way. And you see, I'm doing I got all this stuff. Zero videos. No. You know, so I'm like, I'm not here to debate nobody. So just take that bait, debate nonsense somewhere else because I'm not interested in debating you or, or you know, uh, trying to figure out, determine where you stand on that because I don't care. And when I say that, I don't mean that in a very negative or, you know, negative, toxic way. You know, that's your thing. I respect that. It ain't my thing. Till next time, take care. Thanks for watching.